What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix a glass sliding patio door that isn't rolling properly or in my case here, the lock isn't working. So as I try and lock this door here, doesn't seem to line up and latch properly. Most people tend to think that it's a problem with the lock, it isn't. And what I'm going to do today is show you guys how to adjust the wheels. Now the wheel height makes a huge difference, especially when we have a look here. If I bring the door up, Pretty close to the frame here, we can see there's a decent amount of gap up the top. As we go down towards the bottom, it seems to become a bit more narrow. Also, if we have a look at the bottom of the door here, you'll notice this side here is sitting a little bit lower than the right side. So we've got an imbalance in um, the wheels here. So what we're gonna do is adjust the wheel height. So if we have a look at the bottom of the door here, what we can see is a little slot down the bottom and there's two little screws in there. There's supposed to be a screw up the top, that one there holds the actual frame together. The screw on the bottom is our adjustment screw. So you can see right down the back there, there's a screw and what that screw does is controls the adjustment on the wheels. So what we're going to do in this case is we're going to take the drill, we're going to turn this one here over to the left and I'm going to show you guys just how much difference we can make in the height of the wheels by turning this one here over to the left. So you can use a drill or you can use a Phillips head screwdriver. If we have a look at this side here of the door, we can see that side there is the low side. This side here is the high side. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this door down um, and be able to get these to both levels. So if I turn this one here over to the left, you'll be able to see the door go down as I turn this one here over to the left. You can see there the door starting to go down. And now if we have a look at the door, we've got roughly the same height on both the back and the front. Now these wheels here are adjustable but on the back and on the front of the door. You'll find on the back here, there'll also be the same slot, same screw at the back and we can also make the adjustment at the back if needed. So what we're going to do now is just test out this door, close this one here up. We can see the gap is a lot better or a lot more consistent. This one here actually looks like it's a little bit um, too far in. So what we're going to do, we might have actually dropped this one here a little bit too far. What we're going to do is test out this lock first. That one there seems to lock. What we're going to do is control it just a little bit more. We'll bring this one here up a little bit higher. So this time around we're going to be turning the screw to the right, so having your drill in forward and we're going to raise this one here up just a little bit. So once we've made our adjustment to the door, we can then test it out, close this door up, kick over the latch and now we've got a perfectly functioning sliding door once again. So there you have it guys, that's how to fix your sliding door and adjust your wheels. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's Out To.